How's it going, YouTube? We got Pat Mac here, coach for the Sacramento Saints, slash playing in the semifinals of the BBL up against OG Albina, coach of the Miami Mets. You can see our team up above, their team down below. Both teams range in speed order, of course, as well as the six Pokemon that we are bringing and the six Pokemon that I think OG Albina is going to bring to our match. This is very similar to our week four match. Um, I think I'm actually using the exact same game plan. There is a slight difference in terms of the sets I'm running, but uh, honestly, the, the team we're playing against, uh, it's the same. And the team we're using, it's also the same. Uh, in the past, I've done the exact same team. And this is the same six Mons, because I think that they're very good here. Um, the difference is that the sets are slightly different. So last time we had a Scarf uh, Landorus that was very good. So I'm not going to Scarf this game. I, oh, I think he's going to adjust to... Like, you can see, I, I actually think that he might bring both of his um, electric types, because I think that, like, a L Reggie Lucky could potentially be used as, like, a lure to try to get, like, an explosion off to cripple that, as because it was, like, our primary um, win condition last game. So I'm going with a slightly different set for Landorus this time. It's a lot more bulky, um, so it's a little bit more about, like, designed to switch in and get some pivot momentum for us, get up, like, hazards and things like that. Um, I do have Rock Polish on it, though, so we do have a chance to kind of set up and win with it. And then um, his hazard removal, like like it was last game, it's kind of bad, right? It's got Coco and Reggie Lucky, um, and, and that's it. And, uh, like, webs were really good for us last game, so I have a feeling um, that they're going to be good for us again this game. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, and then pivots, I think, are going to be pretty nice here, too. Um, pivots just in general, right? Like, getting the momentum, getting into that, and having that switch initiative. Um, is going to be so important for this game. So yeah, I'm really excited to see uh, what six he decides to bring here and, and we'll see it in just a moment. Okay, here we are in the match. And uh, okay, so I thought maybe Reggie Lucky would come. It did not. Um, we have, uh, what was that, Gengar? We have Gengar instead. Um, but he does have Uxie. That makes a lot of sense. Um, so we do have a couple of ground weaknesses and we have that ground immunity. So we can't just go Scarf um, Earthquake uh straight up um what's the change it looks like there's no entei i think all the other mons that were here were here last time uh i kind of like the idea of just like leading with ronaldo i don't think it's like necessarily bad against anything that's um he has here pod racer would be pretty solid too i think um but i don't hate the idea of having um ronaldo just out here at the front like we can use it to break a little bit um and then go from there what does he lead? I'm not really sure what he leads. Maybe Coco? I could see Coco as a potential lead, but... Um, aside from that, maybe Urshifu? Uh, but I don't know if he necessarily wants to reveal his scarf right away. So Anyway, good luck, have fun over to Owen. Should be a good match. Looking forward to this one. Uh, he will notice that we're the exact same six, so... Um, I think uh, he can he can make some inferences and about like the kinds of sets that we have um, as compared to what we had last time. So we'll see if he does that, and uh, and we'll play it the way we need to. Okay, so Gengar at the, as the lead is totally fine with me, because um, I just don't feel like he's gonna stay in. Like, I guess he could, right? I just don't think it happens. Like, I could just straight up go Assurance. Um, it's not a very high power move, but it's something, but I think it's more likely that Seismitoad comes in, so I'm just going to U-turn. Yeah, more likely we see Toad. Yep. And, um... I think right here I want to go into... I kind of want to just go into Vickable. Yeah, like, uh... Well, I guess... The only Mon that would be okay with taking an Energy Ball would be um, the uh, Gengar, um, but like, I don't think I'm too concerned about that. Um, we could also just get up webs, but I don't think that's necessary either. I'm just going to go for an Energy Ball here. Let's either break this, or we can hit Gengar pretty hard um, when it comes in. Maybe? I don't actually know how hard we hit this. But he also might go... Yeah, he does go Gengar. So let's see how much damage we deal with this. Yeah, not too much. Um, that's about what I'd expect. Uh, I don't think I want to take... Well, actually, I could probably take a hit here and just Volt Switch out. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Like, I don't take too much from a Shadow Ball. Like, I'm pretty spadef um, and have a good amount of HP, so... 
I don't mind taking um, a hit off of uh, from this and just like volt switching into like Cinderace, right? And like that would put a lot of pressure on him. Yeah, Shadow Ball. So we'll see kind of set he is. I should take less than half. Unless he specs. Unless he specs. That specs. 100%. Yeah, 100% that specs. Okay, that's fine. So we know... Um, yeah, we, we know he specs. And, like, how big of a deal is that? I don't think I'm too concerned about it. Like, I, I could probably just U-turn here. And, um... And just claim this KO. Um... What would I go into, though? I think I'm cool with just taking the KO with, like, assurance. Yeah, let's just do that. I just don't think he saves it, you know? And he's put a lot of damage on Vickavolt, which I know is good for him. Like, I don't think he, want, he wants webs up, so, like, prioritizing... Oh, he just... He swaps? Okay, he swaps. He goes Toad again. Okay. I mean, this is fine with me, I think. I'm not sure 100% how much damage I'm going to deal here, but... We should deal some. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think I'm just going to U-turn and... What do I want to go into, actually? I'm kind of surprised that he decided to keep it. I, I, I figured that he was going to um, swap it. But, like, he knows I'm just going to swap here. So, what does he... What does he switch into? Or what does he do here? Like, he could go rocks, maybe? Um, he could go, like, ground move or water move. Mm, not 100% sure. So, I think I'm just gonna go into... Um... Do I just go into this again? No, I'd like to go in something that's a little bit faster, but I'm a little concerned that he goes for a Toxic, and I don't want to take that on anything that I have right here. Um... Yeah. So maybe I can do... Yeah, this is... So this is kind of a tricky play right here. Like, if he goes for a Toxic, then I don't want to take it on anything that I have um, at the moment. If he goes for attack... Let's, let's go into this. I think that's okay. Because I think this is a Toxic or it's Rocks. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for Scald. Okay, that's fine. This is a 2 KO for sure. If he gets the burn, that would be a little unfortunate, but is what it is. Um, I think I'm just going to go into um, Cult right here. Because I'd like to keep um, Vickavolt. It's actually slower than everything, so I don't exactly roost on anything. Um, but I don't mind taking a Skull right here. Yeah, like I'm gonna, I'll, I'll take this just fine. Um, there's the option of... Yeah, burn. Eh. Like, I have leftovers, so it just negates, it negates the burn. Um, I could go for a sub here. Um, could also go for a toxic. I kind of like the idea of sub. Yeah, I like the idea of sub. I'm going I'm to sub. I, I think there's a world in which he just stays in and attacks. Um, but, I, yeah, I didn't think he would. Because, like, I think he wants to keep that healthy. So, okay, he goes oopsie. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to toxic this. Let's get some chip on it. And um, and this is the mon that we want to wear down. Um, because the it's its only ground resist, right? So if we wear this down, then we're in a pretty good spot. So I will just toxic this. Uh, where is it? Toxic. I don't necessarily want to get baited into a Surf. Um, just because I don't want to heal the Toad up. So I'm, I'm more likely to uh, like sit here and toxic this. I might go for like um, Aura Sphere. Um, I think that's totally fine. But we just want to get Chip on the Uxi. Um, we'll put it on a timer. Okay, this up Psychic. That's fine. So we'll break the sub. Um, I think at this point I could go. Um, what do I want to go into? I could go into Grimmsnarl, but I don't really want to get that thing chipped at all. Maybe I could go into um, Lugia. 
What if he U-turns here? I mean, U-turn is just a good play, and I don't think there's any necessarily anything I can just stop that, um, per se. Um, aside from, like, sacking Vickavolt here and getting, like, switch initiative, um, which I don't mind the idea of, actually. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't mind the idea of that. If he stays in attacks again, then he just gets some, some damage from Toxic. But I'm okay with sacking this. Okay, good stealth rock up. That's fine. Um, if he lets me, I'm gonna roost. But I don't think he lets me. <laughs> I think it's more likely that he just attacks. Um, uh, but then he, like, the toxic damage can start to rack up, so... Uh, maybe he doesn't do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to roost if I can. So we know that we have specs on Gengar and uh, leftovers here, and that's kind of it at the moment. I kind of wish I had um, you turned with the uh, Cinderace on that last turn. I'm pretty sure this KOs though. No, that's fine. So Oopsie will get the KO on um, Vickable. So he doesn't have to worry about webs, but I'm not I'm not too concerned about that. Like it's more likely that I'm gonna go into like um, uh, like Landris, uh, for example. He goes Urshifu. Okay, um, I'm fine with that. So we'll see if he's Scarf here. I guess. Um, I guess I could check if he's Scarf, right? Is that a worthwhile play? Uh, not necessarily. Hmm. What is the option I want to go for? Because I could, like, go here and go Aeroblast, um, which seems okay. But I also don't necessarily want to just die to an attack. I have Frisk. Let, let, let's Frisk and find out. This is like potentially a scary uh, play. But let's find out what he, what he has. And then I don't need to like try to think about how I want to play around it. I can just... Um, yeah, I could play around it. Okay, cool. So he is Scarf. Um, does he CC? I don't feel like he would. Um... I kind of want to just Dazzling Gleam. The other option would be... Um, yeah, I think I just want to Dazzling Gleam. Let's do that. He might just actually just go straight up for a KO. Yeah, he turns. That's, that's fine. Um, and I think I can do enough damage to like a Gengar if it switches in, but I'm, but I'm kind of okay with this. But now I know it's Scarf, so I don't need to try to, like, guess at what kind of set he is. And he goes Toad. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't know if that's Linkling KOs, but I feel like he could. Okay, cool. So we pick up that KO. Um, and that's not, like, terribly important, but, um... It, it did look like it was his check to Cinderace, so having that gone is kind of nice. Uh, and there's Coco. Uh, I'm just gonna go into Landorus, I think. And we'll see what he goes for. I could also... Nah, there's no reason, there's no reason to. Um, I think he is gonna U-turn. Does, like, does that do anything for me? No, not necessarily. Uh, I do want to get rocks up, though. Okay, I don't actually feel like I'm in that great of a position right now. Uh, but we'll see what he goes for. He actually does just go straight for Dazzling Moon. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, we will see where leftovers right, so he'll know we're not scarf. Um, and I think I'm just gonna U-turn here. Uh, getting my rocks up of my own could be kind of nice, actually. Yeah, let's let's do that. I'm gonna get rocks up of my own. Yeah, he U-turns himself. That's fine. But I'll get rocks up, and then uh, I'll U-turn after that. Because I think, uh, like, Uxie's gonna come in right here. It might be Palkia, actually, but I just don't think so. I think it's more likely to see Uxie. We'll see what he goes for. I guess there's a chance he goes into, like, Urtifu, but I don't think that's likely either. He does go Urtifu. Okay, well, get Rocks up here. It's likely that I'm picking something to sack right now. So what is my best option to sack here? Um, yeah, it looks like for the most part this is going to KO. Um, but I think I'm okay with just going into this. Uh, and kind of going from there. Do I want to go into... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go in. I'm think I'm gonna go into here. I'd like to get an opportunity to get in um, Keldeo. It'd be kind of nice for to get in, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna make that happen. I'm mostly concerned about him going for a Wicked Blow right here. Yeah, we know about the Choice Scarf already, and he does Wicked Blow. Okay, cool. Um, that's fine because we just take very little damage from that. I don't think he Wicked Blows again. He's going to swap to something. What just what does he swap to? And can I read that and go into something else? Um, what did he go into last time? Did he go Ooxie? No, no, no. He went... I think he went Ooxie, right? Can I swap into anything, anything reliably here? Um, the other option is he might, like, be choosing something to sack at the moment. I like the idea of just going for a Dazzling Gleam again. Like, he, uh, well, not choosing something to sack, but, like, he might go into, uh, um, Gengar, for example. Yeah. And so, like, that's a, that's a situation where I want to attack. Yeah, okay, so Gengar dies right. So, hmm. So, Ursh, or not Urshifu, um, Cinderace is looking fairly solid here. Um, Palkia could be a bit of a problem. Uh, Coco, I'm not too worried about. Like, I, I'm probably just going to let him have me here. Um, I don't want to take the extra damage on uh, Landorus. Um, so, I'm, I'm more likely to just go for um, a Dazzling Gloom of my own. If he goes for a U-turn and tries to, like, over-predict a little bit, then, um, yeah, okay, and he just KOs. So, hmm. <laughs> This was my main check to, uh, the Palkia, so not having it is potentially a problem. Um, but I don't think I'm too concerned about it. I could actually just go into Storm, um, I think here. Um, but honestly, this is the best way to get switch initiative, so I'm gonna do that. Um, there is no... Oh, no, there is a there is a resistance to water. Um, wait, did, I don't think I saw him take rocks damage, did I? So he's probably boots on the Coco. Yeah, he didn't take rocks damage. So we're just going to, uh, U-turn here. And we'll see what he goes for. Yep. Yeah, and I'm, I'm okay with taking a little bit of damage here. Uh, not too big a deal. It's probably Uxie coming in. Um, and then we can pivot from there. So we'll see what he goes for. This is a very close game at the moment, though. It could, it could be anybody's game. Okay, cool. I can go Cinderace now. Yeah, that's perfect. 
because we can go Cinderace, um, and then potentially we're looking at like sacking Keldeo, um, and then where do we go from there? Oh, we are going to take Rock's damage here. That kind of sucks. It's okay, though. Ooh, this is not a good sign. Come on, land. Don't do this to us. Yeah, so I'm going to take Rock's damage here. Um, but I don't think that's too big a deal. Um, we do want to make sure that this Mon K uh, dies. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier for some of our other things to um, break through. I could potentially, like, go into, um... Yeah, I could potentially go into Lugia, because I have boots on that, so I'm not going to take the damage from rocks. Uh, and then I'll have my multi-scale intact. And... Uh, maybe I can look to get, like, a Calm Mind boost and then KO, although I probably can KO... Yeah, I can KO Urshifu from full pretty much no matter what. How much do I do to Coco? Because if I can do enough to Coco, um... Hmm. Yeah, I do have advantage to Coco too. Cool. Oh, I wrote Ronaldo KOs. <laughs> Ronaldo KOs Uxie. Uh, Cinderace KOs Uxie. And then, uh, okay, so what do we go into next? I actually don't hate the idea of just going into this straight up and just using it to break a little bit. All of his mons aside from Palkia are faster than Keldeo, so Keldeo is not particularly useful anymore. Um, yeah, not particularly useful anymore. I am likely going for... Well, it depends on what he goes into here. He does go Palkia. Okay. Um, but this Mon is also only faster than uh, Palkia, and uh, I need a fair amount of boosts on this in order to do anything. Um, is he going to go for an attack, or is he going to go for a status move? Or do I just want to break through this a little bit and then go from there? I could... Hmm. This is kind of tough. Um, like, if I calm... You know what? I'm going to calm mine. Uh, last time he was a... Um, yeah, after, like, one calm mine, then... Like, I'll do a significant amount of damage to this. Um, and I think that would be pretty good. So let's see what he goes for. Uh, I imagine it's toxic, yeah. Um, so the question is, does he attack me um, without my multi-scale, or does he protect? Last time we played this game, um, I went for a second Calm Mind and was able to break pretty hard. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what he's going to go for. I could just go for an attack straight up, but I don't do too much damage. If, um, if he decides to swap into Urshifu, then I'm in a bit of a problem. Um, so I think I'm just going to go for the Arrow Blast here. Let's get some damage on this. I don't mind just getting some chip on it, because if I get chip on it, then I put it in range of my other mons. Oh, we missed. That sucks. Yeah, that really sucks. Okay, um... So do I go for... Dang, that's really unfortunate. Uh, Alright, so I think I I think I still go for the same move. Like, I don't think that necessarily changes. Um, I could go for Earth Power here instead. Um, like, it's less damage, it's not stab. I'm, I'm gonna go for the attack again. I don't think you I don't think you play the game as though you're gonna miss the attack. I, th I think you just have to play it. And if it misses, it misses. If it, if it hits, it hits. Um, but I need the damage on it. Yeah, that, that's good damage. Um, I think Spatial Ren plus Toxic probably KOs me here. Oh, maybe. Maybe it does. Okay, we can see leftovers on him. 
So he's gonna get the KO on me here. And then I'm gonna surf. Yeah. Um, and then I think I go like Aura Spear, or I go sub maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna Aero Blast again. I'm trying to think about like what my end game looks like here. With Palkia gone, like it doesn't necessarily change anything. Um, and Landers is a bit chip, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to do with that. Uh, I think I might be able to take another Dazzling Gleam after Rocks, but I'm not 100% sure about that. And Cinderace is pretty chip too, so we're not exactly in a good position. Uh, if I could, if I had gone for a Roost there, that's okay. So it looks like we're gonna die to Toxic here. Maybe I could have read that. I think there's a world where I could have read that. Um, how much do I do with Cinderace to Palkia? Uh, oh, I actually don't do enough to KO. That's a problem. Okay, I think I need to go Colt. And then, um, probably attack, and then attack. Attack, attack, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I don't think I've played this endgame well. Maybe um, it would have been better off for me to go for webs a little bit earlier. And have that as an option um, to fight against this team a little bit more. Uh, let's see, Palkia, Kaya, Lugia. Yeah, I think I'm just going to... Um, I just want to go for the Aura Spear, I think, here. Like, I just want damage on this, and I don't think he's going to swap. I think he's just going to stay in and attack me. So I don't think I can set up a sub on him freely. Hmm. We're not looking to be in a very good spot. I, I think he has the upper hand on the position. Because, like, I can attack here, but he's going to live a hit. Okay, the, the way it was looking, it seemed like it was going to go that way. Okay. Okay, um, so we're back in the game. Uh, it was pretty close to the end, so we're just going to play it out from here. Um, you can see that like a lot of the Pokemon are still here. We're playing it as though like he has these three left, and I have um, these three left. Um, we've gotten those Pokemon to the HPs that matter, um, and everything else doesn't matter if as soon as... Um, those Pokemon are dead for either one of us. The game is over, essentially. So, uh, Okay, so I think my plan here was to go for Aura Sphere, because I wouldn't need a chip on this to put it in range of uh, KOs. So uh, Aura Sphere, um, looking for KO uh, damage here. This is fine. Um, again, I just need chip damage on this, I think. Um, I don't mind too much if uh, I get KO'd here, because I don't want to take chip on anything else, per se. Um, so, do I want to surf here? Like, I have a feeling he KOs me. Um, and then it's a matter of who do I go into. I think I can go into Kit Kat and potentially, uh, yeah, because it would be, it would be pretty close. I, I don't think that I would have enough to KO, um, but I can't go into this because I think I died to two Dazzling Gleams. Um, I could go here, but I think I died to, like, Dazzling Gleam plus... Uh, Thunderbolt. Um, so I don't think that there's necessarily a play for me. Um, uh, and I think he just picks up the KO. I don't think there's a reason not to. I'm just going to Surf. Yeah. Um, so I think I need to go here. The question is, can I take a hit? I just don't think I can. Um, like, I could try to Rock Polish, but I think that what happens is he just goes Sucker Punch, and then Sucker Punch cleans up the game um, with Urshifu. So... I am going to try to Rock Polish, though, because if I do, then there's a chance that I could win straight out from here. So we're going to give it a try. Uh, and then I think from here, like, I go uh, Earthquake. Um, and that probably gives me the best chance of winning. Yeah. I think this gives me the best chance of winning. And it's not looking particularly good, um, but I think there's a chance still. I know he's Scarf, and I know I'm faster than Scarf. It's really a question of, like, if he goes into Urshifu right here, 
Um, he may go Palkia knowing that he uh, takes a hit, because I think that he can. Like, if I was him, I'd, I'd probably go Palkia, um, take a hit, make sure... Well, I don't know. Because I don't, I don't think I can KO Urshifu here. But I also don't think I KO Palkia, so I don't actually know. Um, we saw in the game that he has Spatial Rend on Palkia. He probably has a water move also. So we'll see. Yeah, and there's the Urshifu. So now's the question, right? Does he go... Um, does he go Wicked Blow? Because if he goes Wicked Blow, then it's better for me to like Rock Polish again or Stealth Rock um, so that I can get more health recovery. But I just don't... I don't think I can do that forever, you know? Um, and if he just Wicked... I'm going to attack. Yeah, yeah, because he, he takes a hit. And then I think Wicked Blow KOs my um, Cinderace here. Um, definitely, definitely KO Cinderace here. Yeah, so good game over to Owen. Good luck to him in the finals. He's going to be playing up against uh, Matt O'Shea um, for the finals in BBL. And uh, that's going to be a good match. I'm pretty excited to watch that one once it comes uh, goes out and goes live. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty good game. The uh, I think I made a handful of mistakes in the early game. And I don't know 100% exactly what I would have done differently. I, I'd have to go back and watch the game. Um, but maybe there's a opportunity for me to like break a little bit more with something or I don't know exactly. But good game over to him. If you'd like to see some more of our content, whether it is VGC or singles, um, definitely stick around, like, subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one.